Hello YouTube, what is up, Eroctic here. In today's video we are gonna talk about medications in the Escape from Tarkov. In the first part of the video I'm gonna introduce you in the medications. We are gonna go over all the medications. I'm gonna show you types of the meds. I'm gonna talk about status removal and then I'm gonna teach you how to heal properly. What are pros and cons about in a different styles of healing. We are gonna break down all the medications in the spreadsheets that I made and we are gonna discover which ones are the best and which ones are the worst medications. Of course I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks here and there and on the end of the video I'm gonna have the channel update. I wanna tell you guys why I'm not uploading the videos recently. But first let's roll the intro. In the Escape from Darkov the health point system works differently than in majority of games. Every character has a 7 different bars of health, head, chest, right arm, left arm, stomach, right leg and the left leg. And the character is going to die if one of those bars reaches 0, next bullet that hits the part that reached 0 it is gonna be fatal the character is gonna die. With this type of a system you will need to think twice where you wanna hit your target. The fastest way to kill the target is by shooting him in the head because the head has the lowest amount of hit points but if the target is wearing the helmet it is gonna give him extra hit points and that is why if you see fully armored enemy always shoot in the left or in the right leg. I was running the factory and the fully geared player tried to kill me. There are three types of healing items, medications, bandages and status removals. There is a lot of status effects in the escape from Tarkov, for example pain, contusion, bleeding, toxication, radiation and the fracture. Currently you cannot radiate yourself or get poisoned and nobody knows when they are coming. We are gonna go over the types of the meds real quick, there is the AI2 med kit, Car first aid kit, Grizzly first aid kit, IFAK personal tactical first aid kit and the Silua first aid kit. There are two types of the bandages, army bandage and the aseptic bandage. And of course there are status removals in the game such as augmenting antibiotic, morphine, painkillers and the splint. Like I told you I created the spreadsheet with all the data so we can compare it. I'm gonna put the legend of the colors so you can track the spreadsheet really easy and here is the first spreadsheet. I wanna go over the meds first and as you can see there is a lot of different factors that we are gonna go over before we discuss about the best meds. So on this first spreadsheet I made the radiation and toxicity grey just because they are not currently implemented in the game. But we can talk about slots, time of usage, how many hit points the meds can recover and which status effects got removed with individual medications. If you already don't know the slots in the inventory in the Escape from Tarkov are playing a really big role. The Grizzly medkit it takes 4 slots but but AI2 and IFAK requires one slot, which means Grizzly takes slots like 4 IFAKs. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So right off the bat the Grizzly requires the most amount of the slots and on top of that it is the slowest healing medication in the game and it requires 8 seconds to recover the HP. And IFAK and AI2 require only one slot. You can also see from this spreadsheet that Car First Aid and IFAK have the best healing time and Selua and AI2 are mediocre. I also placed how much hit points they can recover and the Grizzly is the best. The Grizzly can recover 950 hit points while the AI2 is the worst, it recovers only 200 and the rest is somewhere in the middle between AI2 and the Grizzly. AI2 cannot recover the bleeding although it is the most common medkit in the game. However any other medkit can restore the bleeding status effect from you. And about the status removals, Grizzly is the only medkit that can restore any single status element in the game. I just wanna point out that the Grizzly is the rarest medication and the only location that I found the Grizzlies was in the medication bags. We have two types of the bandages, army and aseptic and the only difference is that army bandage can heal twice as fast than the aseptic bandage. For the army bandage it takes 2 seconds to recover the bleed and for the aseptic 4. And by the way you have only one time use on the bandages. And the same goes for the other healing meds like painkiller, morphine, antibiotic and splint, you can only use it once. Painkiller is removing the pain, it is really common, morphine removes and the pain and contusion, contusion is in other words tremor effect, antibiotics are also removing the pain and the splint is gonna recover you from fracture. 
since we have a full spreadsheet in front of us, you can clearly see that some items are way better than the other. But there is one more bracket that is missing, a rarity. If the item has higher rarity or the value, it is logical to be better. And with this state, Grizzly should be the best healing item in the game. But right now, is it the best? Let's find out. I have broke down the medications with one slot limit. With this spreadsheet right here, for example if AI2 requires only one slot, I left his full value, 200 hit points. But car first aid kit requires two slots, which means every slot can recover 187.5 hit points on it. And so on and so forth. And with this spreadsheet, you can see that since Grizzly requires four slots, every slot is gonna heal only 237 hit points. And on top of that, don't forget that the Grizzly requires 8 seconds to heal the wound, while AI2 requires 6. So healing wise, even AI2 is better than the Grizzly. And of course, since IFAK requires only one slot, 400 hit points is gonna bring him to the tier 1 healing total wise. If you're counting how many hit points can each slot recover. In this next spreadsheet, since Grizzly is currently the biggest medication in the game, I calculated 4 slot value. For example, if AI2 takes only 1 slot, I have placed 4 AIs to see how much hit points it is gonna recover then. And as you can see, the IFAK skyrocketed any other healing item in the game for about a double. And on top of that, EIFK has the highest healing time in the game, only 5 seconds. If you're looking for the healing item that is gonna regain the biggest amount of HP, it is definitely IFAK. It is gonna recover faster and it has much much more hit points to recover. So is it better to have 4 IFA case or 1 Grizzly? And if you're asking me which one is better, it really depends on your playstyle. Although there is one little big drawback currently in the game, there are a few different ways how to recover the HP. You can open your inventory, you can click right click on it and click use, it is gonna automatically recover the health bar with the lowest amount of the health, or you can drag the med on the individual health bar to recover that particular health bar. And let's say for example if your left arm, right arm and your chest is low with the HP, if you're using the Grizzly, it is gonna recover every individual part separately. That means if you have to recover 3 parts, that means your health bar is going to be full after 24 seconds. But if you're using 4 AFKs, you can use every IFAK separately. So you can spam the heals, you press use on all 4, it is gonna recover 4 half empty health points in 5 seconds, and that is huge. There is one more little thing that I wanna point out. There is a hotbar in the game, and you can drag your medications in the hotbar. And you don't even need to open the inventory to heal. So if you place 4 IFAKs on the hotbar, you can sprint and spam the heal to recover the health all the time. You cannot use the medications from your gamma container on the hotbar. So you have a few options here. You can choose, do you wanna risk 4 IFAKs and use them from the hotbar? Are you gonna use the 4 IFAKs out of your container, open the inventory and spam them on that way? Or you're gonna use the Grizzly out of your container through the inventory? I'm gonna repeat, the game is in beta and some things may change. And if you're asking me which ones are better, definitely 4 meds that require 1 slot over the Grizzly. Because from my point of view, and for my playstyle, I don't care too much about the rest of the status effects except the bleeding. And by the way, if your body part reaches zero, currently there is a bug, when you press use on the med and not drag it on the particular part, the game is checking that the body part that reached zero has the lowest amount of hit points and it is gonna try to recover it. But if your body part reaches zero, it is impossible to heal him back up. Now I wanna talk about the channel updates. I'm still working on a really really big project. Currently I cannot talk about it, but when the right time comes, you can expect between 7 and 10 videos in one day. I'm gonna give you one more tip. When you start the game, you start from level 1 and you need to level up the traders. And on the beginning it is really hard to get a really good medications. I'm gonna show you the way how to farm the meds really easy, without any risk, just to get you going. Empty your whole inventory and go into the costumes during the night time. On the first part of the map, there is a white car in the garage section. When you open up his trunk, you're gonna see a medical backpack inside. And you can store the meds in your inventory. Those are the meds that I farmed in one hour. 
every single time the item is gonna be randomly generated so if you have a crappy luck you can also turn 180 degrees around you there is also a sports backpack that you can also loot it is gonna spawn bandages or AI tools and please take a notice that since I have uploaded this video and gave you this tip everyone is gonna try to do it and farm the medications so please if that tactic does not work try to use it a little bit later I hope this video helped you I hope I helped you in understanding how the medications work in the escape from Tarkov I hope you're gonna try different healing methods thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one erotic out